Hi Capricorn, welcome to your February Love Connection reading. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, I'm going to take a look at your love connection. This has to be an actual connection you believe you have with someone. So whether you're together or not, or you feel like there's a mutual attraction or whatever here, um, has they have to know who you are. So it has to be a actual connection of some kind. You can be together. You may not be together. You may just like each other, whatever here. But if you are single, but sort of have a connection also, I also offer a singles reading. So if you'd like to uh, watch that also, it may resonate uh, for you. And there's uh, links below in the description box to all Capricorn playlists, your love readings and general readings, if you want to check that out, along with a bunch of other stuff down there, how to reach out for personal reading, ducks I'm using, social media. Um, if you'd like to send a gift or donate, all that um, information is below. If you like to check that out so let's see what's going on at capricorn welcome welcome in everybody hope everybody's doing well hope your holidays are going great or went great happy new year all right capricorn let's see what's going on with you i do say at this time or february whenever you see this i do consider all my readings timeless even though they're dated so with this deck here we get a sign element planet we're going to get a sign you may be dealing with if you're not dealing with the sign that's totally fine you may resonate with the rest of the reading. If you clicked on the link because of the title, then there may be a message in here for you. So we're going to look at your current energy between this connection. And then we're going to look at your energy, your person's energy, how you're feeling about each other in the connection, the actual situation, advice for the uh, connection, possible outcome of the connection. And uh, then we'll get some closing messages here with this deck. So let's see what we have. So we have Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or they could have it in their chart somewhere if it's not their sun sign. If you're not dealing with the Taurus, like I said, that's totally, totally fine. That's sort of like a little extra bonus. I just like to do that. People love to know the signs. So throughout the reading, I'm not going to say every sign as I read the energy of the cards. At the end, I'll go over the major signs that I see, which will be the major arcanas in the uh, court cards. So let's see here. So what I'm going to do now Let's get a current energy, love energy between you and your person or whoever you believe you have a connection with. Let's see what the current energy is now for you and your person, whoever Capricorn is thinking of this time. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay. I believe that's your card. And we have here grateful. 47, which is 11. 11 is half of the twin flame number, but it doesn't have to be. But 11 is about being in, on the right path, being on the right spiritual path, the right spiritual journey, being divided, gui divinely guided in the right direction. And we have being very grateful. So could be very grateful for this connection for each other. Hmm, okay. So I'm going to do now Capricorn, if you're new to my readings and this reading, I'm going to put an energy here and an energy here. I'm going to put you on this side for now in uh, your person on this side. But if you feel at any time throughout this reading that um, the energies need to be switched, if you say, well, that's me and that's them, then please switch, flip flop the energies all throughout this reading. Only take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not your reading, so don't try to make it fit. Okay, so let's get a card here. I'll call that you and I'll call this your person for now. But again, switch it anytime you feel it needs to be. So we have awareness, 30, which is three. Three is about teamwork, collaboration, working together, people coming together. So someone aware on this side about this connection and wanting to work on it. But on the other side here, we have negativity, which is 17, which is eight. And eight is usually about um, movement, travel, action. So we're going to clarify all this energy with tarot, see what's going on here. This person may be in a negative mind space right now for some reason, or they could have just negative energies around them. People like naysayers in their ear or just, you know, telling them what to do. And you see this person kind of like, Ugh, I just can't take these people anymore. It's kind of the energy I'm getting. So they may have people around them just very negative for some reason, and maybe about their connection with you or if you feel that's you or something like that we'll we'll clarify here so on the bottom of the deck here we have control wow which is 10 10 is about an ending and then a one is always a new beginning so i feel like someone is trying to control somebody someone is very has a very negative controlling 
energy over somebody. And the other person may be aware. It could be an ex. It could be a family member, friend, coworker. I don't know. It could be somebody here. But somebody is very aware. The other person has very controlling negative energy around them. I think you, you both feel grateful for having each other and the connection, but there's some sort of negativity, controlling negative energy here. So hmm, somebody needs to walk away from that with that eight energy is about action travel, can be leaving something. Somebody needs to turn their back on negativity. Okay, the other person is definitely aware of what's going on here, what's going on with the other person. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to clarify all this energy now for you, Capricorn. See what's going on. So, I just want to give a shout out and a quick thank you to all my new subscribers, all, everyone who supported the channel, whether you've tipped or donated, reached out for a reading, um, subscribed, sent a gift, um, whatever here. It's totally, totally appreciated because I couldn't do this without you guys. So, thank you, thank you. So, let's see. Now we have the Knight of Swords. So that's kind of a reckless energy. That's Knight of Swords kind of rushes in. And uh, now we've got the Page of Wands on this side. So I feel like... I feel like this side knows that this side has th this Knight of Swords energy around them, like people that are very um, domineering. As you see this person's domineering the other person. This is a sexual magic tarot, so if you're offended by sexuality, images, and things of that nature, if you're not familiar with this deck, um, then you may want to click off because it does have female nudity from the waist up, some sexual positions. It's not too graphic, but if you're sensitive and if you're not 18, then you shouldn't be watching this either. So let's get a couple clarifiers uh, for this energy here. So we got the Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy on this side. And we have the Ten of Cups. So, well, so the energy I'm getting is this side is aware of the other side that has this negative, controlling, domineering a uh, person that is like always at them, like nagging them and like telling them and things that they shouldn't be saying, you know, rushing at them, trying to control them kind of energy. And the other person here just wants uh, and is waiting for like the good news from the other person says, you know, I finally told that person off. I finally told them to get out of my life. I feel like the other person is waiting for that good news to come in, you know, waiting for the other one to take, you know, fiery, passionate action and control of their situation because i mean i feel like you both want the ten of cups with each other ten of cups over here total happiness and fulfillment in every single way so wow okay so let's see what the actual situation is the actual situation is oh it's way too many okay all right take this one so we have the Seven of Wands that's being defensive and on guard. The Nine of Cups. So, okay, let's get one more. And we have Judgment. Yeah. This person on this side needs to make a final decision, judgment call, uh, what to do with their life, to get rid of these people that are neg negatively controlling their lives, telling them what to do, or telling them things that aren't true, or trying to, dis you know, trying to... Uh, I can't think of the word I want to say, but trying to, you know, turn them against you or vice versa, whatever the situation is here. Needing to make this judgment call. This person needs to make decisions and judgment calls on this because your mutual energy is the Nine of Cups. So wanting wish fulfillment, happiness and joy together, you know, dreams coming true. And the Seven of Wands, you know, being defensive and on guard, putting up a stance a little bit. So... One here may, may be knowing what the other person is going through, how they're being controlled, manipulated, whatever here. And the other person's like, well, kind of standing back until you can get your power and make that judgment call to get this person away from you out of your life. I'm kind of putting up my wall a little bit and saying, you know, I'm just going to wait till this good news comes in, that we can move forward to the Ten of Cups 
together to our wish fulfillment. Until then, I'm just going to kind of hang back. This I don't like this negative energy, this controlling energy. You know, I'm grateful that I met you and I love you. I want to be with you. I'm grateful for the connection. But I am not grateful for that negative energy that is around you. The stars. So there can be healing here. Divinely guided energy here. Healing, faith, hope, optimism kind of energy. So wish fulfillment again. And the nine of swords. So somebody is stressed. I think the person here that has this person around them that is very negative and controlling them is stressed and worried that may lose you. But there can be healing and there can be uh, faith, hope, optimism, and dreams, wishes coming true. Divinely guided energy. I feel like someone's finally going to be divinely guided to cut this person out. As with that sword there. That uh, knight of swords. Finally, I think this person is waiting for this person to finally cut out that person out of their life for good. And they may have to say to this person, please forgive me, but I need you out of my life. Because you're just a negative energy. Controlling energy around me and I just don't need that. So, And this can heal this relationship, move it forward, because it is divinely guided with the stars here. Wow. All right. I mean, this controlling negative energy, like I said, could be a family member, a co-worker. I don't know. The co-worker would be kind of odd. Family member, friend, um, could be an ex, or I don't know. It could be anything here. So let's see what advice for the connection is the world. So needing to close out chapters and start a new chapter. Needing to close out this toxic negative controlling energy so that a new chapter can begin between the two of you. So that is the advice for the connection. Let's get another one for the advice for the connection. The five of swords. So that's like getting what you want no matter what. You know, kind of egotistical energy sometimes or just getting ahead at all cost. Or just getting what you want no matter what. You can get what you want out of this connection, the two of you, if somebody cuts out this negative, toxic, controlling energy so that a new chapter can begin for the two of you, whether it's you or them. Yeah, the toxic energy, the devil energy here. So the stars can heal this toxic, negative energy. This person's finally, for some reason, you know, some, something is just going to happen that's divinely guided, that's just going to lead them to cut this person out. They'll be divinely guided to do so. So something is just going to like be the last straw. Something over here with the toxic energy here that this person does, and it's like, okay, that's it. No more. Queen of Cups. So, you know, love, emotions, feelings, intuition. So there definitely is love here with the Queen of Cups. King or Queen doesn't matter. So definitely is love, emotions involved here. Definitely. But uh, the advice is, you know, listen to your gut, your intuition, how you feel, the love that you have will overcome this toxic energy and something will happen to this person is just going to cut that person out. So let's see what the possible outcome is here. So we got the three cups that's so coming back together, rejoicing, celebrating, reuniting. So it may take a while here. We got a three, could take a while, you know, could take three days, three weeks, three months. So, so let's possible outcome here. Do you see reuniting, coming back together, celebrating, rejoicing? Commitment here with the four of ones kind of energy. That's my twin flame card. Three of wands are waiting. So patiently waiting uh, for the right time. So somebody's waiting for the other one to finally, finally release somebody or something that is controlling them in a negative way so that you can have this commitment and the commitment is here with the four of ones and coming back together got two threes here so three and the bottom of the deck we have eight of cups so yes yeah, somebody waiting for someone to walk away turn their back leave behind something no longer serving and walk to something that is more fulfilling for them because then you have the Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning, divinely guided, um, abundance, growth, expansion for the long term. Pentacles are long term. And Nine of Pentacles. So this can be an independent energy, single energy. Someone needs to become independent on their own and rid themselves of this controlling, negative, toxic person. 
I'm getting more of like a really, really close friend or a family member. I'm not getting like an ex or something like that. So however that means for you, becoming independent from that energy on their own. So there may be some heartbreak here with the Three of Swords energy. It could be you or them or this person they may just leave behind um, kind of energy. But, you know, moving forward, um, slow, practical approach here. Maybe slow going, but gaining stability and, you know, moving forward very cautiously. But somebody will get their power back. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. And end a situation here with the death card and transform themselves into somebody much stronger. And putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work in this relationship here with the Eight of Pentacles, which could lead to long-term commitment, marriage with the Ten of Pentacles, putting in the work, ridding themselves and transforming out of that energy, that toxic energy, knowing their value, their worth, Emperor Empress being in control now of their life and who they are, what they want. Slow practical approach here may, you know, making wide decisions may be uh, slow going, but the Pentacles is long term. They're here to stay. And you can trust that energy, being s stable, secure, single, independent energy, and ridding themselves of that. Maybe even codependent energy could be, like I said, a friend or a family member. And it could be heartbreak on whoever this is they're involved with, maybe breaking their heart, but saying, I got to do what I got to do. The other person feeling heartbroken until they rid themselves of this energy, walking away from that, walking to their brand new beginning here which is divinely guided which is secure and stable long term growth abundance with the ace of pentacle energy wow so for the signs i see besides uh taurus which that is two earth signs i have here uh, leo sag aries i have aquarius i have capricorn i have libra gemini aquarius i have a uh, leo sag aries i have scorpio Let's see, I have earth signs with the world to me is the earth signs. And then let's see, we have here Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And on the bottom of the deck we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The Empress here is Libra Taurus. We have Scorpio. So those are the other signs I see besides Taurus. So however that resonates for you. We basically have all the signs here. So let's see. Let's get some closing messages for you here. Capricorn. Capricorn. You Capricorn. I do ask Capricorn if you're new or you like my style, how I read. Please do check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to um, subscribe. If you hit the bell, you won't miss out on my readings. If you do, thank you, thank you. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn. Let's get some closing messages for Capricorn. So we have Our Lady of um, Nourishment. Okay, I guess this is going to be another message for you too. 34, which is 7, which again, 7 is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So Our Lady of Nourishment. Someone needs to nourish their own soul and not rely on somebody else's nourishment to feed their soul because I feel it's just a toxic, like I said, a toxic controlling energy. Negative energy. Someone needs to rid, rid themselves of that, nourish themselves, their own, from within. And then you can nourish each other in this connection moving forward. You know, nourishment leads to growth and expansion, enriching this connection. And then this one here, we have Our Lady of Sacred Sisterhood, which is 31, which is 4. This could be a sister or a brother or something. Could be, I felt definitely here, a family member. I mean, it doesn't have to be a sister, but it could be a brother. But I'm definitely feeling family. And maybe they feel like they can't cut this person out because they are family. But you know what? You have to do what you have to do. You or them, whoever it is here. That just confirms to me that this is a family member or a friend that is like a family member that is like a brother or a sister or something like that. Wow. Because four is about stability in the foundation. And then on the bottom of the deck here, we have our lady of sacred hearth. So that is, you know, one, a brand new beginning. So one's a brand new beginning here. So we definitely have brand new beginnings here. And that sacred hearth is just like the um, 
You think of a fireplace, the hearth of a fireplace, like its foundation, its basis. The sacred space where you go, where your foundation is. And it could be, you know, again, connected because it is a family member with the hearth, like, you know, that hearth, that sacred space. But a sacred relationship because it is a family member. But you know what? In order for this to have this brand new beginning, there needs to be a cutting here of toxic energy. I hate to say that, but that's true. So that you can create your own sacred hearth together, your own sacred space and foundation and moving forward, especially with that Ace of Pentacles there, Capricorn. Well, Capricorn, okay. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.